Hi. Now in the first part of this question, I showed you that how we went about showing that a equals minus 9 in f of x. Now for the next part, we've got to factorize f of x completely. And we already know that x minus 3 is a factor of f of x. So if you'd like to have a go at this and haven't done so already, just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. So for this particular part then, part B, let's just put it there. OK, let's copy down what we've got. We've got 2x cubed then minus 5x squared. And we now know that a is minus 9. So it's going to be minus 9x plus the 18. And this is going to be identical okay, to x minus 3 because it's a factor. So we'll put that in brackets, x minus 3. Outside, what would be the remaining other factor, which would be a quadratic factor? And there's two ways that we can approach finding this quadratic factor. And I'll show you both methods. The one I'm going to go for is just by looking at it, okay, by inspection if you like. And I know that at the front of this quadratic factor, it's got to be 2x squared, so that x multiplied by 2x squared gives me the 2x cubed. Then we're going to have an x term, and I'm not too sure what that x term is going to be. So I'm just going to write plus, and I'll write b, we'll have it in blue, okay, b then multiplied by x, okay, plus bx, and then it's very easy to find out what the last term here, the constant, would be, because I know that minus 3 multiplied by the constant has got to give me plus 18. Well, it's clearly got to be minus 6, okay? So all we've got to do now is just find out what the b is going to be. And for doing this, well, you could compare either the x squared terms or the x terms. And again, with this, I'll show you both methods. If I was to compare, say, the x squared terms, let's see what we would have. Well, expanding this out, you'd have x times the bx would give an x squared term. It would be bx squared. We'd also get an x squared term when we did minus 3 times 2x squared. That would be minus 6x squared. And we're told that this should come to minus 5x squared. So this will be equal to minus 5x squared. And from this, you could see that b has got to be a 1. So we've got 1x squared minus 6x squared. That will come to minus 5x squared. So clearly, b must be equal to 1. So that's one way that you could get your value there. Or, as I said, you could compare the x terms. OK, let's just do that, compare the x terms. And if you compare the x terms here, we would get an x term when we do x times minus 6. That would be minus 6x. And then we'd get an x term when we do minus 3 times plus bx. That will give us minus 3bx. And what x term should we end up with? Well, it's got to be minus 9x. Now, from this one, again, you should be able to see that b equals 1. Minus 6x minus 3x would give us minus 9x. So again, therefore, b equals 1. So you just pick one of those methods then. So we now know then that this is identical to x minus 3 multiplied by 2x squared. b, remember, then is 1, so we just leave it as plus x. And then we've got minus 6. Now, it does say here, factorize f of x completely. So when it tends to say completely rather than just factorize, it's suggesting that the quadratic factor is going to factorize again. We can split it into two other linear factors. 
And those linear factors will be a 2x there and an x there to give me 2x squared. And then I'm looking for the minus 6 coming from multiplying minus 3 with plus 2. And it's going to be that way round because I can see I'm going to get 2x times 2 which is 4x minus 3x. That's going to give me that x. And so therefore that is factorised now completely. So we'll just bar that off like so. Now there's another way that we can get the quadratic factor 2x squared plus x minus 6. It's a slightly slower way but I'll show you how we can do it and that is by using algebraic long division. So we'll just put this here. Normally I'd write this in the margin but uh, there isn't that much space uh, if I'm going to keep it on the one screen. So we divide x minus 3 into this cubic polynomial and it will then give us the quadratic factor. So I'll show you. What we do is we'll put the x minus 3 then into and we'll write down the, the cubic, I should say, cubic polynomial there. 2x cubed minus 5x squared minus 9x plus the 18. So in the usual way, I'm assuming you're familiar with algebraic long division. If not, again, do check this out on my website. But what we do is x, what do we multiply x by to give 2x cubed and it's 2x squared. Multiply 2x squared with x minus 3 and you get 2x cubed. And 2x squared minus, multiplied by minus 3 is minus 6x squared. We now subtract to work out what the remainder is. These two terms cancel one another out and then we've got minus 5x squared minus minus 6x squared which is going to give us x squared. We bring down the next term which in this example is the minus 9x and we start all over again. What do you multiply the x with to get x squared? And that's going to be plus x. Now we do x times x minus 3 so it's going to give us x squared minus 3x. Subtract to work out what the remainder is. These two terms cancel out and you're just left with minus 9x minus minus 3x which is going to give us minus 6x. And we now bring down the last term which is plus 18. Put it on the end there. And we again we just say what do you multiply x by to give us minus 6x? Well that's going to be minus 6. Minus 6 now times x minus 3 is minus 6x plus 18. And again, subtract to work out what your remainder is. And this time, they all cancel out. So the remainder is 0, showing us that, again, x minus 3 is a factor of the cubic polynomial. But it gives us this quadratic factor, 2x squared plus x minus 6, which we found here. So an alternative way then of getting that quadratic factor as opposed to comparing the terms. Leave it up to you, whichever one you decide to do.